So I've got a problem right now that a lot of people are facing in Pal World, and that is not having enough iron. If we go into the technology tree and scroll way down here, some of these things start taking a lot of ingots. Those are 40. And if we get deeper into this tree, some of these things just get ridiculous. Like that's a hundred just for the storage unit. And then we get into crazy things like refined ingots and circuit boards, which take even more iron. Now, physically mining this stuff takes forever and it's kind of annoying. So what I want to do today is set up an automated iron base. Now we can see a way across this gorge down here. There's a bunch of iron nodes right on the top of that peak. So I count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. The only problem is I can't actually create another pal box because I have two bases already. So that means we're gonna have to destroy things. Oh, we're also right here, if you're wondering. Now we have the first base that we set up initially and this place is, I mean, it's okay, but it, it kind of, it is not okay. The pets constantly get stuck in the water, they fall off the edge, they pile up giant piles of garbage and never clean it up. So it's time just to send every one of them back into the box. You guys are fired. Ooh, look at all this junk. There's just hundreds of wool just laying around at all times here. So I spend roughly an hour disassembling most of the things and grabbing everything out of all of the chests. So if I travel back to my main base, open up the map, then I can click on here and disassemble the base. Structures not placed outside the base will be disassembled. Oh, okay, whatever. Do it! That might have been a bad thing, but we got some palladium fragments out of it. Also, right up there, there's a yellow egg. Ooh, hello. Pow! <laughs> Destroyed! Actually, not. That was a bad shot. These are all sparing some bullets, too. Maybe I don't want to do that. Yeah. But this is an expensive bullet. Ow. You just knocked out my friend! Why would you do that to Shiny? Hey, where are you? Oh, come on. There. That's a good shiny. Now give me this egg. Ooh, that actually looks cool. I like that one. So we'll just pop that egg into here and then incubate it. Ta-da! We got a new Dazzy. Cool. I see another egg on top of this tower. Also, there's like a crack in the sky. That's a little awkward. I wonder what's causing that. But I'll gladly take the egg up here. And we get back to home sweet home. Or I don't even know what we'll call this place. But I do know that having a pal box here will allow me to upgrade this nicely. I might as well just place it like right about here in the center of all of that stuff and build it up. Like such as. Now we have an iron base. We need to start developing some resources here too. I'm gonna start with a main wooden chest right next to this thing that I can put resources inside of. Now, the interesting thing is there are a few good pals for this. I don't have some of them yet, but if we get these guys, they should start, hopefully, they are level two mining, the dumb mode. They should start, yes, they are. They're starting to chew on the rocks. Good, that's exactly what we need. Even this boy, look at him. Look how dumb he looks. Oh, uh, who's that good little fishy boy? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, eat that rock. Uh-oh. Why here? Don't worry, Shiny will protect them. Why did I pick up Shiny already? It's gonna be like a year before these fellas get down to the base. You leave my friends alone! No! <laughs> Actually, they probably are taking care of themselves. Yeah, they're doing all right. Come on, Shiny, take them out! Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. My goodness. I wasn't expecting a raid within like a minute of setting this base up. But I got some copper keys, so we have that going for us. Now, here's the other thing we have to worry about. These guys are not picking it up, so we have to have somebody that in here that will carry. And I'll be honest, this gore you're at, uh, it's got a three in the storing thing, so that's what you're gonna do, fella. You're gonna pick up all of, where are you going? What's over there? No, I don't want you to attack the tree, you dingus. I didn't realize you were a tree attacker. You know what isn't a tree attacker? The syndicate thugs. They're also kind of lazy. Maybe we should butcher them. Did I say that out loud? The Tombats are decent too. They have mining as well. So I'll let them help out. Why do you have to be so loud? I really want my fishies to do the mining. I'll just make the lambs do it. That's a good idea. Okay, two more steps. We need some pal beds for them to nap on. I'll do that right over here. I'd also very much like to make a berry farm somewhere over here with a chest in front of it. That way we can store our berries inside and maybe a second one as well. So my giant gum boss is gonna move over here and plant some seeds. 
Maybe I don't want a giant one. He looks a little bit weird. Look at that tongue just dangling around. Nasty creature. But it is working pretty good. Everyone is hauling nicely. Even the penguin when he's not watering. So that should work out pretty well. Now I am going to put in two of the primitive furnaces too. One there. I should have built the second one with the right click. Oh, come on. Any more wood. Thankfully, there's a wood device right here. Everyone's excited that they did something special today. Let's put another primitive furnace next to it. Beautiful. And we can start queuing up lots and lots of ingots to be made. Already 45 here? My goodness. Now I just need to sort by element and find the fire boys in here. Hmm, these guys could be good because, well, they can mine. I don't know if I like that. You are nice. Kind of cute too. We'll take you. And, um, yeah. A ruby? You're an artisan. I'll take that. Oh, look at the little flame mushroom girl. Look at that. That's adorable. All right, Gumboss. I'm not, I'm not a fan of you. I'd rather have a workaholic on my team. Look at the little guy. He's so cute. Maybe we should build him like a swimming pool to play in. I could build two of them, maybe. Nope, I only have resources for one. There we go. Great, we have some berries starting up. That's not the best food, but it's gonna work for now. I'm gonna let these guys continue working and we're gonna go try to find some better pals. Don't let, don't let them hear that though. They don't know that they're insufficient. I swear these guys have a bad case of the dumbs too. They cannot figure out how to navigate around the house and I can't even pick them up anymore. But I've heard that there's a desert area somewhere up in here. I've explored maybe half of the map. So let's go up here and see if we can find any more. Maybe we can find a dungeon as well. Is there one right here? Nope. All right, these guys are kind of crazy. Nah, catch. Ooh. Nice. Oh my goodness. All right, and oof, you guys play. I captured one. Did I capture him? I did. A gobfin. All right, uh, there's so many of them here. I'm gonna try to leave. Why are there so many creatures here? Can't catch me if I fly away and get this chest on my way to gold coin armor pelt. Ick. We're like 10 years past that. What are these floppies? We've seen those before. My goodness, there's a giant mountain there and there's a tower on the top of it. That's gotta be a boss fight. This generic area is where we found the bees and those Goro rats would be good if they didn't mine down trees. This could be interesting too. There's some kind of creature in the cage. Ooh. Okay, here, we'll just generically eat that guy over there and have him start attacking. I don't wanna waste my stuff, so I'll come in with my staff. Oh my, he just about one shot him. Ow! Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll just let this cute little adorable creature out while my shiny fox barks does all the work. Hello, friend. Who are you? A Nox. <laughs> I knew that too. And just like that, we have destroyed everything. Well done, Foxy. I need to come up with a name for him. You guys have a name for him? There's also a chest here. I like free treasure. Oh yay, a gigasphere. Okay, this is kind of a cool place. Mountains all around and like the ancient bowl of a volcano. Looks like there's a boss fight in here. So the sealed realm of the guardian is a level 38 boss. We're gonna do that when I get more XP. But there's some fun stuff here, like a scorching egg. We have two effigies, and then there's a dungeon here too. Do I want to do a dungeon? I don't know with my armor being broken. We can just take a quick look. Ah, uh, 29, yikes. Oh dang, I found a cold biome. I think I'm actually taking cold damage right now. But this place is cool. I mean, that's gotta be another free of, yeah, that's another boss. Wow, I literally am taking damage. Oh, cool. There's my little chillets and looks like uh, some Rendrex. They look a little dangerous. All right, this is kind of interesting. It looks like there's a giant verdant egg down here. There's like three levels of them. This one looks to be the biggest. Hello, big chunky boy. Yeah, a huge. Oh, nice. And the ingots got completed there. Thank you, Ruby. And I think I finally see desert up there. There's another boss fight. Is there a fast travel portal? I don't see a fast travel, but I totally see a free chest with loot in it. Eh, small souls. If this is like level 25 and under, we can totally take it out. Nope. And it's a 40. Okay, looks like I finally found my way to the desert zone. Here is a sparky shell. Neat, electric. And, oh no, wrong button. Totally gonna need to uh, claim this thing. And it is gonna get hot, so let's turn that over and put the heat resistant armor on. 
Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't know, it's a level 40. I'm scared of it. It's also a boss. Is it show up? Is it? Do I need to try? I mean, I have a fast travel thing. All right, chill it. I hate doing this to you, but since it is a fire thing, you should be having some fun, buddy. Let's try some ice missiles to begin this battle. And we're gonna try to avoid as much as we can. Ooh, ooh, that did absolutely nothing. Icicle cutter. Oh boy. Run away, bravely brave. No, we're not, we got this. We, we don't have this. There's another one, my goodness. That skull doesn't mean boss, that means it's too big. Chili boy doesn't like running in the desert. Oh my goodness, he's got fire. What are these things? Dazzies. Oh, Dazzies were good. And there's a uh, Robin Quill Terra. We got a different Robin Quill. Hello, other egg. Dibs. Uh oh. <laughs> we have a big battle about to happen. Uh oh. Why is there a guard here? I totally want to tame you. What is that? Don't rain electricity from the sky. Ouch! <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Well, that was exciting. So here is that little deserty beach area I was explaining. Um, totally not up here. It's over here instead. And that's a weird looking creature. I need it. So, oh, I missed. Wow, there it is. All right, okay, good. And then out, and then one more and got him. All right. Oh, you broke free, you dingus. No, you're not allowed to break free. I hang you. Got one? Uh-oh. Oh no, <laughs> stay away. Those stupid birds blow up. Oh yes, here's the things I need too. Hello, dingus. Hello, other dingus. I need to bring out friendship here. Here, have fun with that, Foxy. My goodness. These guys have a few hit points. Nope. Okay, thank you. We're gonna capture you. And we'll shoot you in the eyeball a couple times. Please get captured. You're big and scaring me. Also, this guy's really annoying me too. Oh, stop it. Yeah. Hey, I got one. You too. Why don't you get in a tube? Ah, oh, why are you alive? Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, that was close to me being dead. Fine, you can have a Gigasphere. I don't care. And you can have a blue one. If you pop out, I'm going to kill you. It's gonna work, isn't it? I knew it. I just have to threaten him nicely. And of course there's Pikachu. Why wouldn't there be straight Pikachu? I mean, spark it. Sorry, you got the names wrong. Hello. There is something really big back there. It, what is that thing? Syndicate Crusher? <laughs> I kinda wanna capture it. Cause it's big. Um, here, which, which, uh, which animal do I use? You. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, get out of here. He's so strong. <laughs> that guy's got a flamethrower. I wonder if the Gigasphere can capture that crusher. Nope. Avoid, avoid. Okay, that's really close. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know if it'll happen. Oh, 11% is hard. I have 15 of these balls. Oh, I actually got it. <laughs> okay. And the free pal from here isn't anything special, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, oh, that's the boy I need, the dig toys. All right, um, how best do we capture you? Ooh, its eyeball is weak. What are you allergic to? Oh, whoa, that was cool. <laughs> Too bad you won't live very long. And uh, I mean, you'll live forever. What am I talking about? Come on, get yourself captured. Nice, we got a diggy. There's a giant sphinx thing right over there. And on the map it says there's a level 47 Anubis. It's gotta be inside that. That's gotta be one of the biggest creatures in the game. This kind of the world is pretty dark, but I'm capturing a few more of them. I have four now. And it is kind of funny watching them just destroy one of these guys and then sending in my own friend. Nope, I need that. Mine. I dimmed him. You can't, you can't claim him. He's mine. Ow. No, they killed him. Oh, great. There's a crusher again. Stop it. 
So I made it back home and I've got a few eggs that I wanted to test out. There's a giant verd one here that if we incubate has a, a verd ash. Hmm, I think that's a new one. I also have a large scorching egg that had a bushy, a large common egg with a, oh, a Lunaris, good. A regular electric egg with a Joltog. A regular scorching egg with a Ruby. Another electric egg with another Joltog. And then the last verdant one. That was a pretty good run. That one was a Lift Monk. Cool. So we can fast travel over to our new base. Wonder why our flame bell, oh, is in the box. We good. And we can start putting some of these boys in. So these guys only mine, which is way better than the big the big like fish things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, have fun, my dudes. <laughs> That's great. And I should be able to put two more in here. My goodness. <laughs> we just have a giant drill factory now. Another 24 of these, cool. Well, it seems to be working pretty well. These guys are ripping through that ore exactly like we need them to be. We have ore growing up over there. We have our plants being picked. Everything looks to be going pretty good for the future here of our little world. So thank you, my friends, for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you'll have to let me know down below in the comments. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all my patrons and channel members, including Splatter Sax, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brett, Dalton C, Scatter D, Mr. Cripple One, Baton Please, Fussy Badge, Missing Sniper, Blank Hewitt, Tyler J, Nitro VR, Nitrox, Wyatt H, Otto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippias, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Retlo Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Baxter, Ral, VC Engineer, Scars Marex, Spencer T, Whiskey, and YH.